You know what I did in my hotel room? Tell me. I jumped bed to bed. Hey, did you know Headless Store makes the coolest merchandise just for you? Place your order today as everything is 50% off and get completely free shipping no matter where you are. Hypletstore.com, there's a bit of everything for everyone. I'd like to ask you to leave a like on this video and join that notification squad by hitting the subscribe button. Also comment down below when you do so and we'll do our best to reply to as many of you as we possibly can. Ellen DeGeneres has become an American television icon, but the American comedian, television host, actress, writer, producer and LGBT activist started her career as a stand-up comedian in the early 1980s before becoming a TV star during the 90s. She was named Funniest Person in America in 1982 and eventually received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2012. Since 2003, she's been hosting her own comedy talk show The Ellen DeGeneres Show, which has won 59 Daytime Emmy Awards and 17 People's Choice Awards as of 2017. But even though the TV star has been in the limelight for a pretty long time, there are still a few things people don't know about her or choose to disregard. From her love for music and animals, to her troubled personal life, to her role as a pioneer for the LGBT community, here are 10 things most people ignore about Ellen DeGeneres. In 2010, Ellen founded her own record label called 1111, which signed internet sensation Grace and Chance after his performance of Lady Gaga's paparazzi went viral. Please welcome the always pregnant Jessica Simpson. <laughs> Other people the label signed include Jessica Simpson and Charlie Puth. Well, as a matter of fact, yes, I have loved a woman. <laughs> and you might have forgotten that founding 1111 was actually not Ellen's first contact with the music business, as she also replaced Paula Abdul as a judge in American Idol in 2009, though she decided to leave the show after just one season. What many people ignore is that the comedian and TV star is also a successful author. Ellen published her first book, My Point, and I Do Have One, in 1995, and it became the number one on the New York Times bestseller list. And her book, The Funny Thing Is, from 2003, and Seriously, I'm Kidding, from 2011, also made the list, with the former staying on it for 10 weeks. Ellen has stated that she is a big animal lover, who has two dogs named Bootsy and Muffin, she is also an active PETA member and became vegan in 2010. The TV show host even coordinated a vegan outreach website called Going Vegan with Ellen and wanted to open a vegan tapas bar called Bocado in Los Angeles, which unfortunately never happened though. The actress and comedian is a huge watch lover and collector and often wears men's watches from her collection on The Ellen Show. May I have the envelope, please? She has stated that she is very punctual and always early for interviews, photo shoots and the like. But she said, no matter where I am, I keep my watch set to the mountain time zone. Ellen is loved by many, including Disney. In fact, the Disney people like her so much that they wrote the part of Dory in Finding Nemo specifically for the television host. Huh? You got a problem, buddy? Huh? Huh? Do you? Do you? Do you? One piece of me? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I'm scared now. What? Wait a minute. Stop following me, okay? And she even has her own ride at Disney World in Florida called Ellen's Energy Adventure. Even though we know Ellen is the energetic and never smiling TV show host these days, she has gone through some tough times. Hey, uh, I have a question about dinosaurs. I heard you like dinosaurs a lot, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. When Ellen was in her 20s, she dated Kat Perkoff, the manager of a bar in New Orleans, where Ellen lived again at the time. The TV star was a struggling stand-up comedian when the two began their romance. According to a report in US magazine The National Enquirer, Perkoff didn't just manage the bar at the time but was also known as a notorious drug trafficker and her sister reportedly believes that Kat was murdered by the mob as she had been a key player in the murky underworld of the New Orleans lesbian mafia, a demimonde populated by pimps, prostitutes and corrupt cops in the fast lane of the French Quarter, as Rachel Perkoff revealed. 
The fact is that Ellen and her girlfriend had a falling out at Ellen's brother's concert on the night of June 26, 1980, and Kat left alone but was killed on the way home when her Mercedes hit a tree. Ellen took a cab home shortly after her girlfriend had left and actually drove by the crash site. The star has stated that she still feels guilty about that fateful night, saying that Kat had tried to convince her to come back home while she pretended to be unable to hear her over the loud music. She recalled driving by the accident saying, The car was split in two and we heard sirens behind us, so it had just happened. Nobody was there yet, so we just kept going. It wasn't until the next morning that Ellen found out it was Kat who perished in the crash. When she was about 16, she was molested by her mother's third husband. After her mother Betty had a mastectomy, her stepfather told her that he thought he felt a lump in her mother's other breast but didn't want to alarm her, which was why he needed to feel Ellen's breast to make sure. In an interview, the TV star told Allure he made me lie down because he said he felt hers when she was lying down. She didn't say how long the abuse lasted, but added that the man, who is now dead, once tried to break down her bedroom door, so she had to kick a window out and escape and sleep in a hospital all night long. Ellen turned down the role of Phoebe on the popular TV show Friends to play the lead on the ABC sitcom Ellen, which premiered in March 1994, half a year before Friends. He's been going around behind your back and telling Steve everything about you, and I mean everything. Oh, and in case you don't believe me, we know that you had a big chunk of broccoli on your left. She was also offered to star in the 1994 action movie Speed, but rejected the role of Annie Porter, which then went to Sandra Bullock. In the late 90s, the actress and comedian had a very public romantic relationship with Anne Hash that eventually ended in 2000 after three and a half years together. I'm at the Tonight Show with Anne. This is ridiculous. When she approached me with the idea of like getting together for publicity, I thought, fine, okay, I'll do it for you, but... <sighs> the breakup came as a huge surprise to everyone, including Ellen's close friends and family as the two had been looking for a new place to live only days before the split. Ellen later stated that she had doubts about Annie's love for her and suffered a truly broken heart after the separation. All right, I'm glad, I'm glad you two are, are together. You seem real good for her. Well, thanks. Yeah, she's great. Thanks. And so are you. So congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Be right back. Right. Right. In an interview, she said, Anne broke my heart into a million pieces. When Anne left, I'd wake up in the morning and my eyes would just immediately fill up with tears and I would start convulsively crying. H, no, see, you got it wrong, you're my attorney. H, not H. Just ask for more money, because I can't keep this up. Eventually, the TV star got over it, though, and is now happily married to former Arrested Development and Scandalous actress Portia de Rossi. Between 1994 and 1998, the comedian starred in her own, eponymous sitcom where her character Ellen Morgan came out as a lesbian in an episode watched by 47 million people. What, he's gonna dump her, are you sure? Yeah, he says he doesn't see it going anywhere. He says he doesn't feel she has enough of a sense of her goals and direction in life. In the two-part episode titled The Puppy Episode, which aired in the late April 1997, Oprah Winfrey acted as her therapist, and Ellen then went on to play the first gay lead character in American television. Two weeks before the episode aired, the TV star herself finally officially came out in Time magazine with the words Yep, I'm Gay and Blazin' on the cover in big red letters. In a reader's poll, the issue in which Ellen expanded upon her sexuality even further was later voted as the best ever issue of the magazine. Look, it's just that you know that it's going to be a horrible picture. I mean, you don't. I don't know your work. I'm sure you're good, but... <laughs> oh, come on. Over the years, the popular TV star has become an icon for the LGBTQ community after sparking a national conversation by putting their issues front and center. I have never been so happy in my whole life! <laughs> and Ellen has been praised by many for her courage and for showing that there is nothing more rewarding than living as your most authentic self. What kind of dinosaurs do you like? Clonkadon. I've never heard of that one. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Also, don't forget to turn that post notification bell on so you never miss our uploads. Thank you again for watching, and we'll see you next time.